Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to Laws for March 26th, 2024. Today is Holy Tuesday. As always, we will begin the Divine Office with the Angelus. We offer that for our Blessed Mother. And so with all that being said, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we begin, Lord, in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. <clears throat> let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O Lord, defend my cause. Rescue me from deceitful and impious men. Defend me, O God, and please my plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. 
Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, defend my cause. Rescue me from deceitful and impious men. Lord, my God, you defended my cause, you ransomed my life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said I shall see, no, see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all of my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all of my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go into the pit await your kindness. The living... The living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers, declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, my God, you defended my cause, you ransomed my life. My servant, the just one, will justify many by taking their sins on himself. To you our praises do in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with this burden of sin. Too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountain with your strength, you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain, and thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, and you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My servant, the just one will justify many by taking their sins on himself. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition, and they shall look on him whom they have thrust through, and they shall mourn for him as, he, as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. On that day the mourning in Jerusalem shall be great. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. A few moments with these words of the prophet. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you brought us back to God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. Father, give me the glory that I had with you before the world was made. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Give me the glory that I had with you before the world was made. And so let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruits to those reborn in baptism. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. And taught by our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may we receive your forgiveness and mercy as we celebrate the passion and death of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
and may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen and amen. Hello everyone, good morning, good to see you here this morning. Uh, please remember this evening at 6 p.m. we will have Vespers, and uh, hopefully we'll all be together again. Sally, how are you this morning? It's Merrick. It's good to see you as well. Terry, how are you? James Del Rio, good morning to you. You have a blessed day as well. Maria, good morning. John, good morning to you. Smoking Monkey Media, good morning to you. Sandra Verles, how are you this morning? Tony, hope all is well with you. Michael Verde, good morning. Hello, Donna, how are you? God bless you all. Take care and have a blessed day. And um, God willing, I will see you this evening at 6 p.m. for Vespers.